MMC Phillips, welcome to the show and thank you very much for coming through. Today we're going to talk about economic development within the city of Joburg. Thank you so much and thanks for having me. Now, what plans are there to change or undo any of the previously implemented uh, systems by the city? Uh, well, look, much has to be taken into consideration uh, uh, based on the fact that we are not a coalition government, we are a government of local unity. Uh, we are made up of the African National Congress, uh, the uh, in African Independent Congress, uh, Al Jama, Patriotic Alliance, and uh, so quite a number of uh, yeah, quite a number of of, of, of parties forming this GLU. Uh, we've had a lachotla where we've looked at what works, what does not work, um, but, and also looked at the various manifestos of these parties that that forms the GLU, and we have then come up with a strategic direction which gives us our priority areas of focus. Those priority areas of focus would include uh, uh, good governance, which is our first priority, uh, and directly related to, to economic development would be uh, the aspect of a core mutual production as well as an engaged and active citizenry, which I would like to expand on a little bit more. So what then are the plans in place, if any, to ensure that the economy of the city of Joburg remains strengthened? Yes, well, uh, we have got uh, a whole plan on investment attraction facilitation that includes uh, 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 the releasing of the relic buildings, which has been done by the previous or initiated by the previous administration, which we've welcomed because we think it's a very good uh, uh, concept or idea. It's, it's, it's practically implementable. They've already kicked it off. So we are just planning to see that through because it, it attracts investors, developers come and they bid for properties. We release the properties to them and the spin-offs of, of, of this development taking place is, is what actually we can now say that now would stimulate the economy because if I were to break it down uh, it opens space it opens avenues for job creation it opens avenues for SMME stimulation and it builds on public private partnerships now let's talk about uh, SMEs small to medium businesses how do you plan on engaging and facilitating for them economic development well, the, the good thing is that the previous administrations launched launch what we call opportunity centers. Uh, we intend to continue with those. In fact, we will be launching a few more of those uh, during the midterm uh, because we feel that it is important that we have a facility that caters for the needs of aspiring entrepreneurs and also the guidance that they would require to ensure that their businesses become sustainable at the end of the day. But what we have added to it, as opposed to just support, uh, we, have, we have a situation where our mayor has requested for all departments to go back to basics. We're talking about grass cutting, we, our city is, is dirty, crime and crime issues we faced with. And we feel that at community level, these SMMEs can actually play a key role if we allow them to. This would mean that we have to uh, uh, look at cooperatives and put together tailor-made contracts or work packages for them that are community-based to sort of deal with the, the, the cleaning, keeping clean of their communities because in that way they will take responsibility for it. Whereas if you're having somebody clean up after you all the time, you would just get to the point of, of believing that, well, if I don't mess, there won't be jobs for those people. We would like to also at the same time, parallel to that or concurrent to that, have them engaged. That is what I mean, that is what we mean when we talk about an active and engaged citizenry. We have got Johannesburgers out there and, and they are not feeling affirmed as citizens because we've got uh, foreign-owned spaza shops that has infiltrated their space and nobody seems to be doing anything about that. Uh, we don't have the appetite or the will to, to in fact, we cannot chase our, our, our foreign nationals away. I'm sure you can agree with me that the city cannot do this alone. 
sectors. Of course. So how can we mobilize, or how will you be able to mobilize both private sector and public sector to create the necessary economy that's required by the city of Joburg? Yes, look, this is going to require a partnership between government, uh, uh, private sector, uh, civil society, as well as our, our uh, the labor wing. You know, we, we have got to come to the table and acknowledge that there is this gap between the historically disadvantaged and, and, and the haves. So what, what we're trying to create is a sort of uh, uh, inclusive economy. We know that major corporates, they've got what we call CSI or CSR, you know, your corporate social investment and your corporate social responsibilities. And we're looking at tapping into that as far as, as big business are concerned because they un also understand that a, a, a good uh, and healthy economy benefits them as well. Hi guys, my name is Boiti and you're watching Joe Burke Today.